Some breaking news now, folks. The Grassy Narrows First Nation in Ontario is launching a lawsuit against the province and the federal government. The legal action follows a report commissioned by the First Nation that found the health dangers caused by tons of mercury in local waterways is not just historic but continues to this day. CBC's Megan Fitzpatrick is here now with the details on that. What does the suit allege? Well, the leadership of Grassy Narrow says they are taking this legal action after years of unfulfilled promises, years of negligence and neglect. Uh, and they say they really felt like they had no choice uh, but to try and hold the governments to account through the courts. So they are launching this lawsuit against both the provincial government and the federal government. The lawsuit lays out some of the harms Grassy Narrows uh, says has been caused to their community by that mercury poisoning from decades ago some of the very serious health impacts for the people who ate the fish that contained high levels of mercury and made them sick, um, how fishing from that river was a very important part of their culture, their traditional way of life, their source of food, livelihoods, and all of that has been harmed because of the environmental damage uh, caused by that mercury being dumped into the river. The lawsuit alleges that both levels of government failed to uphold their obligations under treaty rights, um, and that they continue to authorize industrial activity in that area uh, that is causing harm or threatens to cause future harm. Uh, it's not just the paper mill uh, that the community is concerned about, but other industrial activities around there as well, they say, including logging projects, mining projects. And so uh, they're going to the courts, Natasha, and they say that they are launching this fight not just to address the harms of the past, but to try and ensure a healthier, safer future for the younger generation. Take a listen to Chief Rudy Turtle. There's a new generation of young people that are being born every day, and they are, you know, being born to a, a contaminated river with contaminated fish, and they have to live with that. And uh, it's not fair. It's not fair to us. It's not fair to them. And our economy has been destroyed. Our way of life has been destroyed. Um, it's very difficult living under these circumstances, but we continue. So the lawsuit alleges that the levels of government haven't taken sufficient steps to remediate the river, uh, despite evidence about the mercury poisoning from the past and the ongoing uh, uh, harm that is being caused by the pollution that is going into the river still. We heard from Chief Turtle, as well as a lawyer acting for Grassy Narrows, saying that if this kind of environmental damage and, and threats were in perhaps another part of the province, like cottage country, they said, north of Toronto, then they think the governments would have been acting much faster to address uh, the harms caused and to, uh, to do more for the people of Grassy Narrows, the health consequences that they are uh, suffering. Um, they call the mercury poisoning issue one of uh, the most uh, catastrophic uh, one of the biggest environmental catastrophes in Canadian history and a shameful part of Canadian history. And again, they say that's part of what this lawsuit is meant to address. Uh, that's what the lawsuit addresses and alleges, but what are they asking for? There are a couple of different things they're asking for. Um, punitive damages is one of them. They want the courts basically to uh, force the governments to recognize and acknowledge uh, the harm that has been done to the people of Grassy Narrow. So they're looking for declarations from the governments that their rights have been uh, violated. Uh, they also are asking the governments not to authorize any more industrial uh, activity essentially in that area unless they can guarantee that it's safe and that the people's health will be protected. Some in Grassy Narrows have long called for that paper mill to be shut down. That mill has gone through various ownerships over the years. There's a new owner in place now as of last year. The lawsuit is also asking for financial compensation. It does not attach a dollar figure to that request in the lawsuit. They're saying that could be up to the courts, but they definitely want financial compensation. We have reached out to both levels of government, Natasha, for response to this uh, lawsuit. We are awaiting those responses. We do know uh, when that study came out a few weeks ago, the federal government uh, saying how they are committing millions of dollars to building a new health care facility for the people of Grassy Narrows. Uh, that is in the works, uh, but it is, is still years away 
from being built and from operating. CBC's Megan Fitzpatrick in Toronto. Thank you, Megan.